Welcome back upon for the next part of Limbus Company. In the last part, we had some difficulties fighting against Hindley. Once Carmen decided to help him out with a distortion and a violin. And yeah, it seems like uh, once the distortion happens, not even my soul is able to snap him out of it. It worked with the last one because it was a monolith and that wasn't really a real distortion. But for Hindley, we weren't really able to do the same. And we saw a glimpse of his past as well, in which case uh, Heathcliff was kind of poking at the one spot of his soul ego that he shouldn't have. He was probably really insecure about his position in this family. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what happened to the mother, but I guess the father was all that was left for him. And he kind of said that he would take it away from him. His home, his family, and everything. Now, certainly that wasn't true because I'm pretty sure nobody's just going to discard their family members like that. But a child does know that, and once a child is fixated on something, he will continue <laughs> with even stronger emotion from that point on. It just got worse. It got worse for everyone. <laughs> it just got worse for everyone. Now, bath. Matthew. Another 10 turn limit. The difficulty is 44. A good that Hintley kind of forced me to go all the way to 43. Right? <laughs> good that he kind of had to force my hand for that because it got a little bit ridiculous. Got a little bit ridiculous. Uh, here. 45. Now then. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He did not seem to mind at all that his client had died right before him. And what are you laughing at, boss? What is he doing there? Right next to the coffin. His motives are unknown. But I see that an additional layer has attached itself to the coffin. When did it? Immediately after the power outage. What? What's there to not laugh about? Oh, how I've spent days upon days wishing that he would survive no matter how long I had waited. That he would survive until I could be there to watch him die with my own eyes. I imagined it every single day, wondering what kind of death would befit a prick like him. Yet every time, there was something so unsatisfying about the way he went out. There was always something missing. Huh? What do you mean with every time? But this one, oh yes, I quite enjoyed this one. A dog's dead, stinking with that hideous stench of the feet. So pulling that lever killed the power. But I doubt that's the only thing that it did. Am I right? Are you going to pull it? Yes, I am. Before anyone had a chance to stop him, Heathcliff bolted up to the machine and grabbed the dead rabbit's boss by his collar. I knew that something was off about you earlier. Now I can think of two possibilities. One, the gaffer lost it while I was gone, and it's going to be up to me to beat the sense back into him. Or two. He's some deranged lunatic who's only pretending to be the boss. Some mental fuck who should have never been allowed anywhere near Catherine. If you're really him, you must now at least know your own name. What is it? Of course it's math. I suppose it didn't really go by math here then. What? I've grown complacent. I wasted quite a lot of time and effort in attempting to learn his mannerism. Just like this. Sit your asses down and pour me a pint, Heathcliff. What a bloody gloomy day it is. Y you Did he learn his pattern and personality? Who the heck is that? 
Dead rabbit boss. Is he another one of those ring guys? Free, free. Up to 10. Inflict bleed, uh, rupture count, and rupture. Don't really see any other ability. Wait a second, he has uh, attack power up on use. I don't want to give you that dice. I see. Then passive, turn start. Apply one attack up to two other allies with the least SP. For this encounter, gain a slot every time an ally is defeated. If the target's current HP is higher than this unit, Clash Blower plus two and deal additional. Oh my god, he's always going to get that. Every time. It's always going to have that. Clash win. Heal 5 SP on self. Clash lose against Heathcliff. Lose 5 SP and gain 2 by next turn. Once per turn. If this unit did not land a single hit against Heathcliff this turn, lose 5 SP at the end of the turn. What is the issue with Heathcliff? Huh? Huh? Long awaited moment. First hit made out Heathcliff? The spiky bat. On hit inflict pierce damage equal to 50% of damage dealt. Heart of Vengeance. Turn start. If not at minus 45 SP, heal 15 SP. Turn end. If panic, recover from panic at the next turn and reset SP. Turn end. If this unit recovers from panic, gain additional attack power at the next turn. And then fix panic. This unit's panic type does not change when inflicted with an effect that changes panic type. Instead, this unit is inflicted with an effect that inflicts uh, against target without SP. What's up with that? They always mention that. Oh well. Anything new with the rabbits? All of the skills are locked, but I'm guessing that they're pretty much the same as before. It's new, extra damage, SP damage. And inflict already set panic. That one's kind of annoying to deal with, but I guess that's fine. Is it a force? Uh, no, no, I can actually direct my attacks. That means I can actively go against his defense dice. That's good. That's really good. I need to finish off the other guys quickly, otherwise he's going to gain too much SP. Okay. He's going to get a power boost because of his allies. And he's going to give his allies a power boost as well. But I'm pretty sure the power boost is not going to last for the entirety of the fight, so it should technically be fine. Thank you very much. Great! Oh, great! Heathcliff, that was the one thing you were not supposed to lose against. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Thanks for the stay. Uh-huh. Okay, I can stack at this rabbit the next turn. Should be enough damage to do so. Before he has a chance to use counter against me. This is blocked. That's a good chance. That's a good chance, especially once I apply some paralysis. Okay, good start. Not a good start. Come on, Heathcliff. Keep it together. I know, I know. He has so much sanity and you will have literally nothing for pretty much the entirety of the fight. But, uh, please. <laughs> please, you are literally the only one who can actively drain his SP around here. <laughs> Kinda need that right now. Just saying. Just, just saying. Holy damn, I think he got a stagger. I well, didn't. But he did a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, that should just be enough to finish off the one dead rabbit. Just enough to finish it off. Okay. Come on. Good job. Good job, Gregor. Please get me... Ah, oh, it's bleed. <laughs> I mean, bleed is... It's not so bad. It could be worse, but... He is doing a lot of damage now. <laughs> the sanity. The freaking sanity of this guy. Kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Okay. We're going to take care of the one 
dead rabbit first. It's... That doesn't really look so good for us right now. But surely we, we can recover from this. Surely. We got barely survived. You are still alive! I can't believe this! Oh, never mind. Okay. Rodion came around. Rodion came around. He gets more attacks, but... Uh, it, it's beneficial for me to get rid of them, right? Is it beneficial for us? Uh, actually, no. Maybe not. Maybe... Maybe not. It's just going to boost them up, man. Yeah, nothing more. He actually gets uh, more attack and speed if I kill them. So maybe I shouldn't kill. Oh, I shouldn't have killed them. I shouldn't have. I actually shouldn't have. I should have just ignored them. I should have focused all of my attacks on. Ah, uh, you know what? No. 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 It's already going pretty bad. <laughs> Come on, Krigo. Don't do it. Don't. No. Are you kidding me? At 36 SP now. <laughs> I didn't even have a chance to build up my own sanity. And then he goes all the way over the roof. All the way over the roof. <laughs> yeah, I have to ignore the rabbits. I have to ignore the rabbits. I even got staggered. I, I even got... Uh, managed to get myself staggered. Okay, by some miracle, Ongnu was able to win this uh, this clash. The thing is though, because of his dead, everyone is going insane now, and in that regard, I think we are about to die. Unless of course Rodion was able to pull through, but even then, he still has 300 HP! <laughs> He still has so much health! This is not gonna work. You killed my girl! You didn't even kill one of those guys! You killed my girl! You lived on 5 HP! <laughs> We're tanking that with heat plus. It's gonna tank that hit. It's gonna be fine. Offensive level down. He is going to get the guard, but we should be able to break through it just fine. Okay. We broke through it, so he's not going to get the attack boost, right? So he's going to get it either way, no matter if we break through it or not. Heathcliff can tank it. Even with the 13 extra damage, which could easily get even higher. He can tank it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, <laughs> Tremor comes. Probably not going to do a lot of damage because he uh, kind of counters it, but we got the tremor burst! The tremor burst! Okay, I think we got a stagger. Yes, it's fatal damage. We got the stagger. Three of them are staggered. Okay, maximum amount of damage. This one is taken care of. I'm not entirely sure if he's actually able to win that, but. Better than nothing, I would say. Better than nothing. Okay, we have 14 blue- ah, of course. Trigger! Every time! Every time! <laughs> every time I need you to get something, you fail to get it! Every single time! Without fail! We have every single time! Oh well. Right, oh well. 
What's that? Counter. And that's good. More wrath, please. More lust, please. I need all the types of resources around here. All the types of resources. Give him as many attacks as you can. But I think without an ego, the bleed effect is also getting... No? No, it isn't getting lost. Okay. Okay. This is going to be really, really handy. <laughs> right, really on. Really, 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 really handy. Okay. Down to 176. One hundred forty. Shoot, I killed something. I didn't want to kill anything. If you tank that hit, you're going to get a four attack point in the next turn. And then Rodion, you need to somehow beat this guy. Somehow, I'm not entirely sure how, but you should be able to survive it somehow. May this is not the healing. This is not the healing spider, this is the binding spider. It should be fine though, it should be fine. We're, go we're going to get the bleed. The bleed is coming around. The bleed is here to save us. The bleed is here to save- Oh my freaking god! The bleed! The bleed! <laughs> How many turns did I take? I probably failed the X mission, right? I didn't fail the eggs mission! Frodion, my queen! You did it! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> what was up with that guy? That guy was crazy! <laughs> that guy was really crazy! And now there's a beast! 50 turns to be- I could have needed that <laughs> the last one! The last one! <laughs> Come on, I am a girl! I need ya! Seems like we're going for a round two! <laughs> Are we going for a round two now? What the hell do you want? Hindley, you, and your mysteries, everything! I'm tired of it! If you won't talk, then I'll. <laughs> what? Kill me? Hmm? You're going to kill me. Who is it? I suppose introductions are necessary. I am you, as it is plain to see, and have clawed my way back from hell. How can there be two of the same person? They are not the same person. This one is an ident identity? Uh, wait, identity? He's an identity? So he's a heat clip from one of the mirror worlds? All those who challenged me stood in my way. All those who humiliated me. I intend to find them, one by one, to give them death that befits their crime. And in the end, I would kill the one who killed my Kefi with my own hands. Wait, my Kefi? The one who... who no, no. What the bloody hell are you even talking about? Obvious, is it not? It's you. And me. Do you still fail to understand? We are her murderers. What a load of rubbish! Talk like a normal person for once, or... Wait... How much do you know about Kefi's dead? I have no love left for anyone in this world. This world has none to spare for me either. I had but two paths before me. Dead or Inferno. Because I was already cast into the depths of hell upon Kefi's demise. But you, I watch you going on your perul adventure, dreaming of some satiate, heartfelt reunion with her. 
Thus, I have journeyed to this world to devour every one of those hours, so that you may be stained with the same despair that painted me. Stop talking in circles! Are you saying that you're the one who killed Kaifi? <laughs> us, Heathcliff. It's us. That is what we are, how we were born into this world. A witless brigand, a vagrant, a thing wrapped in a filthy, stinky wreck of a sack. Witless brigand. Yeah. That is what I always was. Tell me, Heathcliff, what was your first thought when you first heard the news of her death? If she was killed, I would pursue her murderer to the end of this earth. Kill every last one of them, whoever that may be. Yes! A bloody wretch like them should not be allowed to live, don't you agree? You could kill them, tear their corpses from limb to limb a hundred times, but it still wouldn't be enough. Because it won't ever compare to the terrible suffering that awaits you. And I... I'm Catherine's murderer? I'm the wretch that killed her? Endless, excruciating, sleepless nights lie away in your dream, rather your future. Though you will not see her, her beckoning voice shall haunt and torment you until you draw your last agonizing breath. Can you not hear her? Kathy, she weeps. You would not know this, but it showed the day they buried Kathy. I stood there alone by her grave, nothing but the cold, wintering gust to accompany my virtually, a uh, virtually, I mean. Ah. <sighs> I hear the howling blizzard still. Where are you, dear Kathy? Resenting me still from whence I shall never reach. You are beside me, are you not? Not under me, but with me, upon this very earth. Oh, he looks like Heathcliff. He appears beaten down, distraught and insane. Heathcliff from another world mournfully roars Catherine's name. Yes, Kathy, torment me so that I may never rest until my very last breath. Kathy, you... no, we... Yes, break me to a thousand shards so that I may be driven mad with suffering so that Kathy may forgive me even a little. What the hell is going on here, Heathcliff? Uh, I don't get it! I don't get it! I really don't get it! Why? Why? How is he supposed- She died on- she, He wasn't even anywhere close- I mean, sure, she was a vegetable because- But it was lit- if, if, he, if she got the letters, it could have helped! Right? It could have helped! If only she got those freaking letters! Oh, God! But he does look kind of cool, though. I give him that. It's completely stained red, probably by all those murders and all the bodies he or that he already killed along the way. Okay. Bad Bash is still the same. 3, 3, 4, up to 10. Rapture count. Smackdown. Attack Pyagon. If he wins the Clash, that's not good. Seems like the abilities are pretty much the same as before. All skill target Heatcliff. Wins encounter if Heathcliff dies! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. If the target's current HP is higher than this unit, Clash Power plus 2, great. Long awaited moment. I need to make sure that Heathcliff wins his clashes so that we get the bite. Uh, da -da -da -da. He loses SP if he doesn't land a hit on Heathcliff this turn. Heart of Vengeance, he always recovers SP. And gets a tech power up if he should ever panic. Okay, he's pretty much the same as before. Just with even more health. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Where's my Heathcliff? He's before Ryoshu. This is terrible. 
He's also really fast. He's really. F My guys are slow as heck. They are slow as heck. Are you kidding me? Let's see if we can still win this somehow. Nope, because he's never going to miss his coins. This is exactly the same problem that I had with the previous fight. My lack of speed, the constant sanity. I need more paralysis. It's the only way. <laughs> paralysis is literally the only way to get through this. Unless, of course, I do something against the, the sanity thingy, but the, the thing is... For sanity I need sinking. I don't really have a reliable sinking team. Okay, what's what's that now? What what's this? Deep beverage. Turn start. With five speed again five defense level up. Why? When this unit has explosive affinity effect, come weak to the core corresponding affinity and becomes stronger against every other affinity in special effect when hit. Spite driven. If this unit fails to land a hit on Heathcliff by the end of the turn, lose one explosive emotion. If this unit is taken at turn start, lose three explosion emotion. Ooh. If the value of persona is one at a turn end, lose set effect. If the unit loses explosion affinity before the second turn after obtaining the effect, gain Deep Reverend for the next two turns to gain new skill pattern. This effect does not expire within the time limit. Lose the effect again, then it, uh, wait. No, 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 no. Lose the effect, then gain six offensive level down and free haste next turn. I don't want that. Just take the hit. Just take the hit, Ishmael. Meow, my Radion! I they <laughs> can't. They can't win this. This is too much sanity! This is too much sanity! <laughs> if you had a void, that would certainly be quite handy. It was just saying. The other idea would be better for this. I don't think that. Uh, uh, no, social defense. No, 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 that wouldn't really be that much better. I mean, technically speaking, he has more chances to roll. Which in turn means more clashes, which in turn means higher chance of SP recovery. But... Still not a void. And it... He's... Well, he's a little bit faster than his she one. Should I go for the hero? D do I need the hero once more? <laughs> but he's super slow as the hero. Should I? I'm kind of tempted, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really tempted to go for the hero. I'm just not sure if it actually makes such a big difference. I mean, technically speaking, he is always in low sanity. Every single time, he's always on low sanity, which is good. Which would be really good. <sighs> you know what? Sure. 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 Desperate times require desperate measures. Right? Desperate times require desperate measures. If you need to defeat a very depressed, insane Heathcliff, you need to become really depressed yourself. In form of a hero that is hidden in the streets in the rain. <laughs> and he also feels the anguish of somebody dying as well. It balances each other out. It balances each other out. My colleagues have died. Three, five, Maybe six. The number doesn't matter anymore. They were all killed by those wretched new technologies that won't stop springing up. 
Von lost a job and starved. Von got the flesh taken away. Others work like clocks in a machine, treated like subhuman junk, or something like that. They were all diligent chumps. I was thankful that they were good to a block like me. Because I've never showed it. I was one lucky bugger, you see. I at least didn't get swept up by rushing waves of technology and die. I ran off and roamed back streets like a thrown away umbrella until they took me in. But I guess I didn't deserve them after all. In the end, they all go away, like wet paper being torn away. A thrown away. The dog, wait, torn, it was torn after all. And the regret and shame that I felt as I watched it all happen, and my anger boiling. Maybe if technology didn't exist as they said, I could have been laughing and fooling around at the backstreet pub with shams that could have been alive. So I decided to get as serious as I could and avenge all I can this time around. They work on society and technology to make life comfortable, but those things ended up taking lives. It is why I started thinking that things like those shouldn't have existed in the first place. Us survivors dug into the rotten remains of a fallen wing that once stood at the top of the technology progress and put on what they call ego, products of technology we detested. It's ridiculous to think that technology would have a mind, but it seems like this thing does. As soon as I wore this thing, cold and dark feelings rush into my heart. An endless swirl of gloom wrapping around me. But as it did, I got a feeling that maybe this thing was just like me. Maybe, just like I did in the past, this thing once had a friend but got driven out and abandoned. Thinking like that, it gave me Motivation to fight. It helped me take down all the crooks trying to protect their damn technology and drown it all so that they never see the light of day again. That's not gonna bring my colleagues back from the dead, of course. At least I will reduce the numbers of people that will end up like us a fair bit. But when I'm done, the chills remind me that I'm alone. I go back to wandering damp, dark alleyways. Now I can hardly sleep anywhere else. Damn it. Maybe this ego thing will do me in one day. Like how technology doomed all of my mates. What a fast that would be. Whatever. Thinking more won't give me any answers. Once I'm done with this job, I'll go back with pride. Once the new world is made, I will have another chance. You leave now. Don't try and give me attention. I have no friends left now. Okay. Heathcliff, top speed. Five. Perfect. So I don't want you to win any of your clashes. That's actually good then. Everyone else takes defense dies because let's be serious, he's going to spam that thing. Okay. That's a lot of guards. At the very least, we are able to apply some of our lead stacks on him. It's certainly going to be handy. Don't do it, <laughs> Oh my gosh, please. Don't do it. Don't play with my heart. It's gonna recover a lot of insanity. Okay. 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 30 sanity. That's okay. Oh, I really don't want to count on Gregor. I really don't. But I have a feeling I don't have a choice here. Oh my god. Gregor, I, I, I swear to god. If you mess this up again and give him free SP, I might 
become a little mad. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> you literally did that for like five battles straight. <laughs> five battles straight. <laughs> okay, it already goes a lot better. I would say. Boss is getting some binds. That's good. Okay, we can win against this. We can win against that. Two attacks are blocked. 60 damage should be doable for both of them. I just can't allow him to gain any extra benefits. That's the thing. Can't allow him to gain any extra benefits. He's no attack power ups from his uh, old skills. The red skills. I am going to go increase your attack level though, your offensive level from next round. Unless of course you're going to change again from burning heart to this bear heart thingy? Something? That one? Fresh the reverend. Reverend or something. So everything has been redirected. Honglu, you have to guard because we don't really have an option right now. I am going to apply some paralysis on him. But sadly... Riosh is relatively far away from Faust. That means Faust won't really have a chance to benefit from this. Oh well, at the very least... Uh, it seems like we have got a couple of good hits, and we got a stagger! Even better! <laughs> Even better! Okay, how much play does he have right now? Four. Not that much. But I do need to go for the damage, so we're going to go for this. Okay, we are probably not able to reach the second stagger bar, which is a good thing. Because then I might be able to stagger him again before he's able to do anything funny. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. Really, really good. What's that now? Explosive gloom. Uh-huh. Inflict 3 SP damage on the taker. And one single count, one offensive level up, up to nine again. Okay, now you attack my SP. Great, love it. Just, just love it. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes you have to go for your guts feelings, right? Sometimes you have to go for your guts feelings, even though it's it's kind of wrong, and you have slight doubts about it. Sometimes you just have to believe Yeah, that's not gonna work <laughs> You have to take a couple of hits You have to take a couple of hits You should be able to do this though or Maybe not No way! My guts feelings were wrong! <laughs> okay. Keep on going, Rodion. It's a bit unlucky that we didn't get a head roll on that turn, but that's fine. At the very least, we need to keep the bleed going. That's the thing. I need to keep the, keep the bleed count going. I'm not entirely sure if we got the stagger there. Kind of good if he did. Oh yes! Thank you, Gregor! Thank you! Is that if your redemption arc? Is that actually... Actually a redemption arc now? <laughs> I would love it! I would really, really love it! I need more gloom. And pride. Technically envy, but we do need the attacks. He still has 1k of HP and our Heathcliff doesn't really look that good. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, 
he's going to get some kind of point debuff in the next round. Hit. Heathcliff from another world glares at Heathcliff. Every stain of rain in his bloodshed eyes are pulsating with burning hatred. Your peril adventure ends here. Cast yourself off the cliffside of suffering. Let the sorrow agonize you until your body strikes the earth's cold. That is the smallest atonement you could pay to Kathy as a murderer. Bastard, even now? Heathcliff bolts forward, unable to stop himself. Ooh, okay. Can you win it? No, he can't! <laughs> Heathcliff rushed forward, screaming, consumed with wrath, but perhaps the wrath got in the way of sound judgment. Great, Heathcliff from the other world was able to read this move like an open book. A fatal counterattack smothered Heathcliff. Accept your fate, Heathcliff. Welcome the praise of death. Heathcliff from the other world muttered to our Heathcliff, who's reeling, kneeling from shock. Yeah, you might be right. I might just be a bloody wretch, like you said. But I will kill you first, anyways. Heathcliff hasn't given up yet. The other sinners stand ready for the battle as well. This is far from over. Very well. This is good, Heathcliff. Isn't it? Resent me. Hate me. Do not relent. Because this will be the start of your journey to killing every Heathcliff. A journey that ends in your demise. Together we shall all pummel to the beds of the abyss. He bellows once again with anguish. The battle rages on. Okay. Gain spread high, but attack power up as well. All allies gain extra damage as well. Double the amount of stagger threshold raised, including the side effect from tremor burst for heat with question mark. Okay. He's still relatively far away though, and I don't have I don't have tremor. <laughs> this team doesn't really rely on. Tremor! No! Okay. Fixed target, I can do anything about it. The second? When I literally have the weakest skill available on my heat. Fair? I don't know. But it's about to happen, huh? Well, at the very least, we're going to have some paralysis on them. We have that. And we're going to have even more paralysis thanks to uh, our Ryoshu. Oh my god! At the very least, he has all the strength of the world! We have that, at least! Right? Let's think about it positively. Let's think about it positively. <laughs> it's so mean. This fight is so mean. The freaking sanity. All that sanity. <laughs> And he still recovers! He still freaking recovers! Okay, let's gain some lust. Let's gain some lust. We can win this just fine. I'm going to save the the ego for the next round, just in case. Maybe he's going to get for go for a stronger move. Who knows, right? Who knows? I can't really redirect that one move, so in that regard. I need to be uh, really considerate about the attacks. Oh my god. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> I need to be really considerate about the clashes that I take here. I really need to consider them very well. Very, very well. Oh my god. We are still so far away from the... Uh, the stagger ball. Mm. 
this. Oh, it's still too far away. Still too far away. Is he still fixating on somebody? No, but uh, Rodion is about to get hit by a counter. Okay, Faust, you're going to tank one for the team again. The same as Rodion. Please give me the freaking stagger! <laughs> Please just give me the stagger! It can't be that difficult! It cannot be that difficult! It's just heat! It is just heat! Different heat, but still heat! At the very least, he no longer has 45 sanity! You know, for an insane person, it's very unreasonable for them to give him all the sand in the world. <laughs> right? It's a very unreasonable thing. But they're still doing that. And I just don't understand. I just do not understand it. And he's still not staggered? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, certainly. This time around, I'm going to get a. I'm going to get a stagger. I'm totally going to get a stagger. Okay, I was about to say, <laughs> my home new is not really able to tank another one of those hits. Just saying, he wouldn't really be able to tank another one of those hits. Okay, stagger. Where the heck is any of his other skills? He's literally spamming purple and only purple. It doesn't make sense. It it just it doesn't make sense. Is it a debuff? Because I got the, the, the event. I failed the event. That he no longer gets anything but that and instead gets a three attack power up? Is that it? Is that how it works? <laughs> My god! What? What did just happen? How much? How much did you just. Every Catherine was destined to be miserable because of Heathcliff. That is why I must kill every Heathcliff in the world. If you would have done the same. What was that just now? Distant world, Woodering Hide. Wait a second, let me double check something with my time really quickly because um, I think I already reached the mark, but I would say because today was such a struggle, <laughs> I'm not going to end the part on a cliffhanger. Not today! Not today! We fought so hard for this! <laughs> We're going to include the cutscene! <laughs> right, Heathcliff? We're going to include the cutscene! Is she dead? Tell me everything. Please, give me a true history of the event. How did... How did Kavi die? Did she pass away with the same kind of smile on her face? Whitely. As a lamb. And did she ever mention me? She could not, for her senses never returned. She laid with a sweet smile on her face, her life closed in a gentle dream. May her finest slumber be a peaceful one. No. No. May her... May Kefi... May she wake in torments! What? I... I killed Kefi! 
didn't I? I'm a murderer, aren't I? Haunt me then, Kefi. Be a ghost and haunt me. Be with me always. Only do not leave me in this abyss where I cannot find you. I cannot live without you. Heathcliff? Kefi, you may not rest as long as I'm alive. And nor shall I. What is... Wait, why did you leave Wuthering High? It is where the love of your life live, isn't it? Yeah, Clockhead. You've asked me that question once. But that was a wrong question to ask. You should have asked me why I endured, not why I have left. The trashing, the humiliation, the scorn, the pain, the starvings. I could endure it all. I just had to weather it. Let it pass over me. That is what I always did anyways. Despite all that, I decided to leave Wuthering High behind because... Because I finally realized something. So, uh, yeah, Lin will, will be quite a fluid soon. soon. If, if I were to marry, to marry him, him, I shall be at the greatest invent, invent of the neighborhood. neighborhood. No? no? Perhaps no, no. I shall be awarded the Invent of the Year award from Tico. Then, then what about Heathcliff, Miss Catherine? Nelly, please, please, don't, don't say, say such a foolish thing. thing. It, it would degrade me if I were to marry Heathcliff. What the hell? We'd both, both be disintegrated if such a thing were to happen. Tell me. Tell me. Why couldn't you bear to remain at Wuthering Heights anymore? Because I finally understood that Catherine did not love me. And if I had to stay here and watch her marry Linton, right before my eyes I would have done something so violent so brutal against Linton or even against Kathy I could not stand that not even the idea of it so I ran in this manner that degraded me made me a wretch in this manner that taught me love only to deprive me of it no, I was always a wretch, from the moment I was born. A lowly thing like me should not have been allowed to be here in the first place. That is why I tore myself from it. But I've never given up on Kathy. I only wanted her to realize that she was wrong, to regret what she has done, so that she will one day return to me. But... What about now? Pointless. It was all pointless. Then, what can you do now? Ask for the deceased wish. The will shall be read it out loud here. At Miss Catherine's man. Catherine, she's dead. We were married. Catherine lies dead because of you. You still fail to understand. We are her murderers. Every camera was destined to be miserable because of the Behold the fragments of every possible world. In every world, in every single strand of infinite possibility, Heathcliff will break her heart, condemning her to a death most wretched. My head hurts. I'm bleeding, and this... This is the sound of my distant self bashing his head against the tree trunk. I'm back. I said I'm back, Kathy. Look, Look at him. him. What, what do, do you, you feel? feel? Is that even a human? Isn't that thing just a bundle of waste? Wrapped in a filthy rag that only resembles human flesh? I've changed. That I will show her how I've grown as a person. No, of course not. It never could have worked from the start. How could it? 
I'm not even a person. What, what do, you do you think, think of yourself, Heathcliff? Do I even deserve to speak as a human do? I, who killed Catherine. You, who deprived me of Catherine. Must be a thing lesser than a savage beast. Then, why should I even keep pretending to be human when I'm not? If they were right, that if I were to become nothing more than a howling, savage beast. A wild, heartbroken hound, abandoned by his master. That is the shape of your heart, and its desire is it. Yes, I shall become an infernal hound, snarling, tearing at the fabric of the city, and I will shove its remnants into its sack, and grade it across the broken earth. I curse myself and everything that did this to me and Kathy. Then it can be as you wish. Run, Heathcliff! Run! Kathy, your ankle! Go! I said go! I promised I'll... I promise I'll come back for you! Welcome, Welcome home, home. Heathcliff. What the hell did just happen? Who did he talk to? We saw... Fragments of memories from... Uh, the other Heathcliff. What is that? Ticking sound? 15 turns? Uh, you know what? I would say this is the perfect moment to make a little cut. Uh, in the next part, we're going to see what happens next. The first and foremost, I need to take a little break. <laughs> There's two boss fights in a row. Alright, uh, three boss fights in a row. Alright, uh, crazy. And uh, my... my uh, my Aquilia is running low. How about I'm going to do some mirror dungeons to relax, huh? Heathcliff? Certainly, we both need a break. We both need a break. And I'm going to take this lunacy. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, God.